The first thing I want to show you today is the mixed order type. This is going to let us do sales and returns or credits in the exact same transaction. We find that to be very exciting. And you see the order type here is an MO. And what I did down here is I've got one order. I put there's a couple purposes or a couple reasons. Um, the first purpose for this would be if you have counter sales, if you have a retail component to your organization where people come in, you would be able to quickly and easily do a exchange or return and swap things out. But as I was thinking about a lot of my manufacturing and distribution customers, this is a great way to correct a misshipment. I mean, it does happen from time to time. We put an item on an order, it goes all the way through shipping, it gets to the customer and they say, oops, you accidentally sent me this, but I ordered this. Previously, we'd have to do a bunch of transactions to correct this, but using this new mixed order type, we can easily correct that inventory quickly with a lot less clicks and a lot less transactions. So in the details screen here, I have my stock item and I have a positive quantity and there's an operation field here that says it's going to be an issue. Now I'm going to swap this out. If you want to activate this order type, over in your list of order types, if you have the correct permission, you'll see that there's this new mix order here in the list. And you'll need to click into that. And you'll need to set the active button on that order. Here's my mixed order type. I was able to get the second item added on there. You see we have a negative quantity here and that automatically changes that operation to a receipt, which is very nice um, and does allow those negatives. So in this case, I'm just counting this as, oops, I gotta correct my inventory. We accidentally sent the wrong thing out to the customer. And from there, uh, we can go ahead and prepare our invoice, see if we can make my system crash again, but it appears to be working okay. And that just brings us right into the invoice uh, from there, which I think we're all familiar with. So just again, please note, we don't create a shipment with a mixed order. It works just like an IN order where we just create an invoice. Um, under the reorganized menu, you'll have a different, couple of different options. What they've done is they have taken the transactions and grouped them together. They've also created a material section. And what's very exciting that you'll find in there is that you can now create a labor transaction from the production order. So previously, we had to come all the way out to the labor transaction to do that. Well, maybe I'll have a better result. Oh, I could show you that real quick. All right, so under transactions, we've grouped those all together. And then under materials, they've taken the critical materials and late assignment and moved that under a materials category. And then you also see we have the labor transaction that's been added here as well. Now that it's all filled in, uh, since this is a really nice new feature and it kind of just gives us all the nice, you know, greens and reds and blues and tells us what's good and what's not good. Um, on that production order. So in this case, I've got a nice big red bar and I have an alarm and just probably should be looking at some of my labor hours on this and see what happens. Um, okay, there we go. And then I don't have any related production order supply documents since I processed this one partially through. Um, however, it's just an example of what this would look, you know, if you had dependent work orders or dependent purchase orders, on this production order, you're going to get them all here in one screen, nice and handy. This isn't available anywhere else in the system, just on the production order. 